watching out for you. That flood insurance is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Paying $1,000 a year for insurance they didn't need, now homeowners are fighting back. We're talking about homes that for years have been considered part of the Johnson Creek 100-year floodplain. But now at least three homeowners in Lentz have successfully been taken off the floodplain list, meaning they no longer need to pay for expensive flood insurance. But why were they in the floodplain to begin with? Sally Showman getting answers from the city. Sally? Jeff, it's these three homes behind me. All of them are about three quarters of a mile from Johnson Creek. And each of these homeowners has paid a private engineer who made elevation measurements that proved to FEMA they do not belong in the floodplain. Now these neighbors are wondering if there are others paying unnecessarily for flood insurance. Johnson Creek is known for its floods. In 1996, it spilled into businesses and homes in the Lentz neighborhood, but it didn't come anywhere close to Bertha Hinshaw's home on Southeast Herald. Never flooded, never. Uh -uh. No, we built this house 51 years ago, raised three daughters. and. Her house is situated about three quarters of a mile from Johnson Creek, but it's in the 100-year floodplain. She pays $900 per year on insurance. But that flood insurance is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Two doors down, Rebecca Cranston was so upset, she hired an engineer, paid $1,200, and got elevation measurements to prove her home never should have been in the floodplain in the first place. It sits high enough. So it was very exciting. Two other neighbors have also discovered their homes were mistakenly in the floodplain as well. What if this is just the tip of the iceberg? Exactly. What if it is just the tip of the iceberg? Maybe, uh... Maybe something needs to be looked into. We called the Johnson Creek watershed manager to get answers. So should everybody have to go out and spend $1,200 of their own money when some of these people have been living here for 51 years and it's never once flooded, not even in 1996? Yeah, so there's a couple of things about that. First of all, there hasn't been a 100-year flood on record. Maggie Skandarian says the flood of 1996 wasn't considered a 100-year flood and says that some people along Harold were flooded during that event. You know, I mean, I'd be willing to be more than happy to show you some maps of people that got that get hammered up, in south, up along southeast Harold. Between she Oslo. says the floodplain maps are created based on the best available data, which is nowhere near as specific as what private engineers come up with. She says in some cases it's a matter of a few inches elevation that mean a home is in or out of a floodplain. The flood insurance program is there for a reason, and it isn't perfect. It absolutely isn't perfect. And there is a method that shouldn't cost people as much as what you're quoting for them to be able to, you know, um, determine that um, they're not in if that's the case. Now, Bertha is considering hiring an engineer to help her determine if her home should be in or out. We are going to follow up with FEMA and the city to see if other homeowners are removed. Reporting in Southeast Portland, Sally Showman, Coin 6 News.